please make yourselves at home. Thank you for the champagne. How thoughtful. Another bottle to collect dust on our shelf. Please, go ahead and sit down. You have a lovely home. I really appreciate that, Jimmy. I decorated it myself. So, Mark, um, Eric tells me you're in politics. Yes, I'll be running for office in the fall. Nice. Yeah, homos better watch out. Excuse me? The gays. When you take all our rights away, you might want to consider implementing a law to segregate the drinking fountains again because you never know where our mouths have been. Oh, stop being hysterical. He's being hysterical. We really are grateful you were able to come over. And we really appreciate the invitation, Kayla. What do you think you're doing? I'm gonna light up a J. Uh, pardon? What's your stance on marijuana these days? For it, I hope. We don't allow drugs in the house, Eric. Please conceal that illicit substance I've asked you nicely. I swear to God, if you light that thing, I would throw you out of this house with my bare hands. We haven't offered you anything to drink. What does everyone want to drink? Whiskey, brandy, scotch. I was thinking more like lemonade, but okay. Honey, will you help me out in the kitchen? What in the hell is your problem? My problem? He started it. Oh, real mature Mark. Do we even have any brandy? Who is for brandy anyway? What does he think we're aboard the Titanic? Shh. Jimmy, Eric, I don't think I have any whiskey or brandy. Is Scotch okay? Whatever you have is fine. Bring it on. What was that? You have a lovely home? A joint? Ugh. This place is chintzy personified. Eric, what are you doing? All you have to do is tell him about our plans. If he says no, that's the worst thing he can do. What was he gonna do? Call the cops? No, no more for you. I saw you sneaking cocktails into the shower. You're gonna be three sheets to the wind. This is a family event. People drink heavily at family events. Can you tell Alec to quit that? He can come out soon. Alec! Keep your voice down. Eric can't know he's here. What the hell was that? I don't know. Alec? No, no way. I thought they got rid of him. Oh, I hate that dog. After what he did to me, I've still got the scars. Stop being dramatic. We need to stick to the plan. Remember, if Mark invested into our company, it'll make him look really good politically. Stick to the plan. Mark has no intention of supporting a fair trade business, Jimmy. We're barking up the wrong tree. Then what are we doing here, Eric? I've seen lions in Africa act more civil over prey than you and your brother acting right now. Here you go. Thank you. There. Wow, Caitlin, this scotch is fantastic. Oh yeah, Mark says it is a phenomenal brand. Mark is also a pompous alcoholic. So, Somalia, it's a long way from home. Tell me, how was your stint with the uh, uh, Joshua Project? Peace Corps. I was in the Peace Corps. Right, right, minor detail, insignificant. It's not insignificant, who are you to say it is insignificant? I apologize. I'm very curious to hear how it was. Oh. Oh, it was a real pleasure cruise. Yeah, yeah, there's famine and poverty and civil war. And did you know if you're gay in Africa, they just hunt you down and chop your head clean off. I'm gonna check on the casserole. We just checked on it, it's not finished. Well, I want to be positive. I'm sure our guests are getting hungry. Oh yeah, nothing like talking decapitation to really get me drooling. Mark, a word? I'm just gonna freshen this up a little bit. Stop drinking. What a nightmare. No, he is horrible. You're both appalling. I'm gonna go get it. No, we are not throwing him into this mix. He wants to come out. Can't you see I'm a little preoccupied? For Christ's sakes, Caitlin, how long does it take to finish a casserole? I can't take care of him, Mark. I can't take care of him, you, me, and the baby all at the same time. I can't. This is a terrible idea. 
He's never gonna agree to be his guardian. I don't even know how to go about asking him. It doesn't matter. Families provide for each other. They don't throw away and humiliate one another. Have you met my family? Damn it, Alec! Quiet! I'll go check on him again. Just a few more minutes on the casserole. So, how's it going, Eric? Assimilating well? Assimilating? That's a big word. What's going on back there? It sounds it's like- It's the wind. The ghostly howl of the wind. There's no wind today. She was asking about your um, transition. Oh, right, my transition. Well, I've been having problems financially. Oh no, you? Not being able to manage your money? Don't patronize me, Mark. Must be really difficult skating by on Grampy's money all these years. You finally bleed your dowry dry. Black soap. Black soap? Black soap. What the hell is black soap? It's made from cocoa pot ash and mainly produced in Ghana. Well, I appreciate the Wikipedia definition. Could somebody please explain what it has to do with this conversation? We want to create a startup company selling black soap using a fair trade agreement. If successful, it can really improve the living conditions for the villages that we've been helping for the last four years. We have most of the money. Except for a small lump sum. How much do you need? Around $10,000. I'm gonna be sick. You would be supporting a wonderful effort to improve life for these people. No, I'm actually going to vomit. Give me the trash can. $10,000? My wife is pregnant with our first child and you want me to loan you $10,000 of my money for, for black soap? You're pregnant? Oh, yeah. Wow, congratulations. Thanks. Yeah. yeah! Sorry, son or daughter, you can't get your tuition check because daddy gave all your money to your greedy Uncle Eric for some half-baked idea to sell black soap! I'm trying to help you politically! Oh, please! How did you ever land on black soap? What, is there already a surplus of wicker baskets and hemp handbags? You know, I knew you would react this way. Nobody needs black soap. Nobody's looking to purchase black soap. Nobody cares about stupid black soap. Soap isn't even supposed to be black. It's supposed to be white. Oh, you are a wrench thrower. He is not a wrench thrower. What in God's name is a wrench thrower? I don't know, but it sounded derogatory. All your life, you are constantly throwing wrenches into all of my plans. Not only do you radically oppose every moral and belief that I've ever had, but you actually go out of your way to keep me from getting what I want. People in glass houses shouldn't throw black soap. What's that supposed to mean? You're a hypocrite. How do you expect me to support you when you won't even acknowledge Alec's existence? I do acknowledge him. I acknowledge that he should be put to sleep. But this has nothing to do with Alec. This is about me. Everything is always about you. You're despicable. You ostracized him. You mercilessly yelled at him until he was afraid of his own shadow. Ugh, you're disgusting. He's a member of this family too. He's a wild animal and I hate you. We can't keep him here any longer. It's your turn to take care of him, Eric. And I'm not forcing him away like some beast. He is a beast. The last time I saw him, he tore through my arm. Oh, he bit you on the forearm, princess. I highly classify that as tearing through you. I refuse. I refuse to let him into my home, feed him, take him for walks on a leash. He doesn't need a leash anymore. He's gotten better. I don't care. And I don't... And I don't feel bad. 
I don't feel bad one bit. If you don't want him, then you should take him to the special farm where the rest of his kind go. Are you aware of what you're saying? Seriously, do you hear the words coming out of your mouth? You're asinine. I will not allow you to say this anymore. I can't even talk about myself. You can't even talk about yourself. Everybody, shut up! Hey, Jesse. Lunch is ready. Write the check. What? For ten thousand dollars. Write the check. If we give them the money, then maybe they'll take Alec. This is unbelievable. Here's your money. Oh my god, really? Wow, Mark, Caitlin, thank you so much. Sure. Shall we? I suppose. Alec? Alec, can you come out here? Lunch is ready. Wait a minute. Alec is here right now at this residence? I thought it was imperative we get the whole family together. Try to be cordial. Out of respect for you and your wife for just giving us such a generous gift, I will try to keep it together. Ha, 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 Alec. Long time no see. You son of a bitch! Chris, no! Why is this leaving? He's not a dog, okay? This is not going to end. Stop, Alec. 